What is up everyone? Today I want to show you guys how to create the perfect video Instagram post. So first off, if you're new to this channel, my name is Yuval and I make videos about filmmaking and traveling. Videos just like this one, so if you want to see more, make sure you're subscribed. And also look me up on Instagram, at YuvalA96. I upload a lot of travel content over there, so make sure you check it out and let's get right into the video. So when creating a video post on Instagram, there's a couple of things we're gonna be looking at. So the first one is gonna be the video dimensions. So we all know that vertical posts tend to do the best on Instagram because they take up the most space on your screen. So, you know, higher chance of people seeing that, higher chance of people engaging. And the thing is that most of your videos are gonna be shot um, horizontally, so 16 by nine usually. So we're gonna need to find the best dimensions to take that uh, horizontal video and make it vertical. Second thing is the video quality compared to the file size. So we all know that Instagram really compresses our videos and photos. And if we give it uh, too big of a file, it's gonna compress it really hard and it's just not gonna look good at all. So we're gonna need to find a good balance between the quality of the video and the file size. We don't want it to be too big, but we still want to export uh, a high quality video. So we're gonna, we can, we're gonna tackle it and kind of find the right balance there. So in this video, I'm gonna use Premiere Pro, but you can take these principles and apply them to your preferred editing software. So let's get right into it. So I got Premiere Pro opened up and I'm gonna create a new sequence. And what you wanna make sure, I already have a preset already made, but you should make a new composition, which should be 1080 by 1350. That's the best size for videos on Instagram. So I'm gonna create a composition. And now I'm gonna drag my original video into the project. And I'm gonna also drag it into the composition. Keep existing settings. And now you can see that the video doesn't really fit. We have to kind of scale it up a little bit. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, you probably want to adjust the framing a little bit on some shots. So for example, on this shot, I want the balloon to be in the middle. So I'm just gonna create a cut. All right. And I'm just gonna drag it all the way until I'm happy with the composition. So you should spend a little bit of time and kind of adjust the frames to look how you want it to because the composition is obviously going to change because we are making a vertical video off of a horizontal one. So you're gonna, you're gonna want to adjust the framing. So let's say I'm done adjusting and I'm happy with the video and the framing. So I'm gonna check the out point, the in and out points. And now we're going to export. So, file, export media. You can choose where to save the file. Export video and audio checked on, of course. And actually, we're not gonna change much. We're just gonna make sure it's on uh, format age 264. And we're gonna just stick with the default options here. Um, you wanna make sure that the width and the height are correct, so just press much source and we're pretty much not gonna change anything um, check render on maximum depth just keep scrolling through um, I like to do um, bitrate encoding on VBR 2 pass and you're gonna take your target bitrate to somewhere around 10 and the maximum also you can do 11 or 12 but Somewhere around 10 would usually be good. Um, 
and that's basically all that we have to do um, it's gonna result in the best possible quality on Instagram and some people recommend actually getting the file size a little bit lower maybe around 50 megabytes so you can just lower the bitrate a little bit um, in my experience uh, it seems to be better to keep the bitrate around 10 but you should experiment and and see um, and see how it works for you for me I like to keep it around 10 um, as long as the file size is not exceeding like a hundred megabytes so it's around 60 70 that's fine and that's basically all the settings it's pretty simple pretty straightforward um, what makes the difference in my opinion is the it's just the correct dimensions so the 1080 by uh, by 1350 and then you know just making sure that um, we have a sufficient bitrate without making a huge file because if you make a huge file Instagram is gonna compress it and it's not gonna look good so we're trying to kind of get somewhere where there's some balance between um, the quality of the video and the file size so for me like I said I'm usually around 10 bit with the and like 60 70 megabytes would be a good option so that's all just go create um, and just go and click on export and that's it you're done so this is what works the best for me when i upload video posts on instagram if you think you have a better way please let me know down in the comments and if you want to see more of these videos make sure you're subscribed and check out my Instagram page if you haven't yet. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.